are Amazon and Google finally playing nice with each other? It was just announced that you can finally view Nest cameras on Amazon Echo devices. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do that, so stay tuned. So whether you have the Echo Show 5 or the massive Echo Show 15, you can now view your Nest cameras on these devices, or if maybe you have a Fire TV stick. It's gonna be compatible with that too. This is pretty exciting because I just did a video last week talking about some of the best indoor security cameras you can get, and to me, the Nest cameras won out. I thought between video and audio, it had the best combination of both. So now if you're in the Amazon Alexa environment, you're gonna be able to pick up that Google Nest camera and view it on these devices. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, we're gonna start by taking our phone, loading up the Alexa app right here. Down at the very bottom in the corner where it says more, we're gonna click on more. Then we're gonna click on skills and games. From here, we're gonna do a search for Google Nest. And then we're gonna click on the Google Nest skill. Now we're gonna link our accounts together. So I'm gonna say enable to use. Now I've already linked my account yesterday just to make sure this is working. So it's gonna be a bit different for me. It didn't ask for my credentials this time because it already is linked. You are gonna notice something different. You're going to be asked for your Google uh, credentials. So you're gonna go ahead and put those in. Once you get those in, you're gonna see this window right here. It's gonna ask you if you want to give control to Amazon Alexa using your Google environment. So I've went and I've actually checked the boxes for everything that you see down here. Everything typically was grayed out. I checked all the boxes, got everything linked up so it is now in my device. So I'm gonna click on it next right here. We'll choose the account that I want to use and I'm gonna click on continue and now everything has been linked. Perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of there. We're going to say discover devices. It's gonna go through and discover those devices that we have, and then we're gonna finalize the setup in the Alexa account. All right, if you see that it says no devices found, that's absolutely fine. I see that all the time. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on close, but if I go up here, let's take a look at cameras because we wanna take a look at my indoor camera. I'm gonna scroll down here. Let's see if we can find it. So right there under office, it says Nest Cam Indoor. So it did find it. It just, for some reason, said that it couldn't find anything. So don't worry too much about it saying it didn't find anything. That might be okay. So now that we have it plugged in there, I'm gonna go back to, let's see. I'm gonna click on devices back at the bottom, get back to this home screen. And then what I wanna do is I wanna add this to my favorites. Now this is just me personally. I've already added it to my favorites. So you see here it says Nest Cam Indoor. You can click on the edit there and then click on like add new to add new favorite. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring it up on the dashboard for my Echo Show 15. So unfortunately this is gonna be just for Echo Show 15 users, but now that we have it all set up there, this is what I wanna show you. Here I have my Echo Show 15. If you take a look at my smart home right there in the front, you are going to see the Google Nest Cam loaded up. So let's go ahead and click on that. And this is going to load up the live view of that camera that is downstairs. And there you go. So there is the downstairs camera of everything that is going on. We now see a live view on here. If you've got the Echo Show 5, you may have to do the drag down from the top from the Echo Show 5. You're gonna select cameras or the, um, the camera that you have. Now, one thing that I'd recommend for anybody to do when you're setting up any camera is to put the name of the brand in front of it. You notice that for mine, it was listed as Nest Indoor Cam. Before that, it was just listed as Indoor Camera. Now, if you don't have a very big smart home, that might be fine. I run into the issue a lot of times where, you know, I've set up several indoor cameras. They all say indoor cameras. I have no idea what brand is what. So I always like to put the brand name when naming my cameras, but uh, that just helps me organize everything as the smart home builds out. So a recommendation for you. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.